Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about WD My Passport external hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. This video is going to cover PCB swap, PCB firmware transfer, PCB repair, bad sector recovery, modern WD hard drive data recovery, fix service error corruption, disk data recovery, PCB electronic circuit analysis, quick data recovery tips. Part 1. Printed circuit board repair. Three common methods to fix a hard drive printed circuit board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Swap the printed circuit board. 3. Repair the printed circuit board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. PCB board repair method 2. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own PCB board. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives. Because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board, this is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time, is the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3 PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps 1. Find the correct donor PCB board, 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Locate the hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware. PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware 
includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. One, the printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board from a transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board from a transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery the modern WD hard drive data recovery. The modern WD hard drive room is locked. The following steps are how we unlock the room and perform data recovery. Step one, 
Remove the ROM chip from the PCB. Step 2. Read the ROM and save the data as locked ROM data file. Step 3. Unlock the locked ROM data to an unlocked ROM data. We use PC3000 professional data recovery tool. Step 4. Write the unlocked room data to a donor room. Fine. Solder the donor room to the original PCB. 6. Perform the normal data recovery. Bad sectors recovery. Some models of WD hard drives have a special feature called TLER, Time Limited Error Recovery, which can reduce the time of reading the bad sectors safely. Bad sectors are the common cause to make the data not readable. Reading the bad sectors is not only time consuming, but also dangerous to make new damage to the hard drives. Some models of WD hard drives have this feature, TLER, which can read the bad sectors fast and safe. The TLER feature can be activated in the firmware of the hard drive. Default error processing. Reading attempt of the XLBA with a default timeout. In case of timeout, Limits, access, rereading the same LBA a dozen times during a few seconds. Software hardware reset. Recalibration of the heads. Another reading attempt of the X plus one LBA. In the background, writing error logs inside the service area, as picture one shows. TLER error processing. Reduce the time for error processing and set your own internal hard drive timeout. Disable all non-critical service area modules. Switch off all background processes. Make fast and effective bad sectors reading and processing, as picture 2 shows. Disk firmware corruption symptom. The hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software-based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason: disk firmware corruption. Recommendation: Try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. This picture shows some basic pins and their functions. This picture shows some correct signals on the PCB board. This picture shows the important circuits on the printed circuit board for repairing purpose. This picture shows the motor driver chip schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the motor driver chip schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the hard drive circuit board schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the motor driver chip 
schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows how to connect the USB-only WD hard drive to SATA port. This trick is useful when the USB chip is broken or you want to bypass the USB controller chip to control the hard drive through the SATA port directly. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients.